after trial, I'd love to go unpack trial. Okay. I think that's fair. But for now, uh, I'm not doing any media. I don't think it's appropriate for. Yeah. Of course. Respect to the court, respect to the judge, respect to the jurors, respect to the government and my defense team. I think this should be adjudicated in there, not there. Hmm. That was disgraced former Congressman George Santos last week outside of a New York courthouse talking to News Nation as he faced nearly two dozen federal charges against him. Things have changed, though. Santos is now expected to plead guilty to crimes related to campaign fraud at a hearing on Monday. A federal fraud case alleges biographical lies about his education and work history. Also, numerous money-making schemes. News Nation's Caitlin Becker is here with more. Caitlin, you were at the courthouse last week. Walk us through the charges he's facing and, of course, the expected plea deal. You know, it's interesting for him to go from this is a witch hunt, which he right. has said in the past, yeah. and all of these things are baseless, to we're expecting a guilty plea. So sources with knowledge of the situation have confirmed that he's going to cop a plea with federal prosecutors on Monday. Now, the details of what that plea agreement will look like are unclear at this time, but I can tell you that on Tuesday... Or love last week, or it was Tuesday or Wednesday, one day last week. Mm -hmm. It's all blending together oh, now. Hannah, he was arraigned on 23 felony charges in a superseding indictment, and he entered a plea of not guilty then. And these charges all connect to five alleged schemes that prosecutors claim that he it, concocted go, while he was running for Congress, right. along with two other co conspirators who have since also had plea deals. So among these things are identity theft. They say that he stole credit card information from campaign donors. One of them in the indictment claims that he charged a credit card belonging to a donor $44,000. His supporters. He was stealing from he his was supporters. Stealing from family members, supporters. Yeah, that's what they're saying he did. And they also were saying that not only did he use it to allegedly line his campaign coffers, but he also allegedly spent it on things like designer clothes and Botox and makeup. So what this plea agreement is going to look like is going to be pretty interesting because they're pretty egregious claims. $44,000. There's a lot of Botox for $44,000. <laughs> uh, both of us, $44,000. Okay, almost two dozen charges. What possible sentencing could Santos face tomorrow? So, of course, plea agreements, you usually get a lesser sentence than you would should you be found guilty of all of these charges. So the max here, we're talking about 20 years. So we expect something far less than that, possibly no jail time at all, because if he's going to cop this plea deal, it seems much more likely that they will be lenient on him. However, that doesn't happen until the penalty phase of the, the criminal process. So what happens tomorrow would be the alleged plea deal. Plea deal will go forward. They will set sentencing for a later date. Now, Nancy Marks, who is his campaign treasurer, also pleaded guilty. She is going to be charged. She's going to be sentenced in November. So we could potentially see something around that time frame. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.